Boxing has been practiced since before the time of ancient Greece and the original Olympics. It's been applied to both general physical conditioning and striking performance training. It has grown in popularity as a kind of physical activity. A typical boxing workout consists of hitting drills on tools like heavy bags, speed bags, and focus mitts, as well as movement and footwork drills to avoid punches. Even virtual boxing is another option available to users of gaming systems equipped with movement sensors. But after a high intense training, you think you know all. You get into a ring with someone and get defeated. Your errors are the only things holding you back in both the gym and the arena. I'll be talking about the common mistakes you make when you box. You will be able to identify the ones you are guilty of and how you can fix them. Watch the entire video. You will benefit a lot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you benefit from the video. Let's go. 1. Per stance. May look like the way you position yourself doesn't really matter. But sorry to burst your balloon. Incorrect foot positioning and balance can actually compromise your stability and power. Doesn't matter how heavy you are, if you don't have a proper stance you will be knocked of easily. The majority of boxing coaches advise standing with your feet shoulder width apart, your knees slightly bent, and your chest slightly tilted towards your opponent. Your right hand should rest at your chin, and your left hand should be in front of your face if you are in an orthodox position. Changing from this position limits your capacity to attack your opponent and facilitates their punching power. 2. Telegraphing punches. The term, telegraphing punches, describes the unintentional signaling of an incoming strike through body movements or positioning before it's actually thrown. This error eliminates the element of surprise and gives opponents valuable milliseconds to successfully anticipate, avoid, or counterattack. Pulling the shoulder back or tensing muscles before a blow are common examples of telegraphing, which basically broadcasts the intention. Telegraphing not only reduces the likelihood that the blow will land, but it also puts you at risk of being hit by counterattacks. Boxers who want to be great must learn how to hide their movements and deliver each punch as effectively and unpredictably as possible. 3. Neglecting defense. Focusing solely on offense is another factor that leaves you really open and you will be very vulnerable to counterattacks. Make sure to use the same amount of energy you use to train on offense to train on your defense. It is an important aspect which a lot of people neglect during training. 4. Overextending punches. Extending your punches too far can compromise balance and leave you open for counters. Punches that are overextended uses a lot of power. So after punching you will lose a lot of energy. Also, unnecessary stress on your joints and muscles, especially the arm and shoulder, could likely increase the risk of you damaging your joints. So make sure to concentrate on maintaining right technique. Making sure that every blow is thrown with control and precision within their ideal range, and optimizing both defensive preparedness and power in order to avoid extending strikes. 5. Ignoring footwork. Many people are guilty to this. Footwork during boxing is its foundation. It provides the necessary balance, mobility, and positioning to effectively execute punches and defend against incoming attacks. Neglecting proper footwork diminishes a boxer's ability to maintain distance, create angles, and swiftly move in and out of range. This can result in being caught off balance, leaving openings for your opponents to exploit or failing to capitalize on opportunities to land clean shots. Prioritize footwork drills and techniques, honing their agility, speed, and coordination to maneuver effectively in the ring and gain a strategic advantage over their adversaries. 6. Lack of head movement. Your head confuses your opponent. Failing to move the head can result in you taking unnecessary punches. Move your head during training, at a point you will get used to it. 7. Failure to vary attacks. Predictable patterns make it easier for opponents to defend against punches. Train on your attacks. There are several boxing attacks like the jab, cross, hook, uppercut. If you want to know more about different boxing attacks, let us know in the comments section. 8. Rushing combinations. Yes, the pressure is high and you think very fast in the ring, but throwing punches too quickly without a proper setup or technique can reduce your effectiveness in the ring. Make sure to prepare and watch your opponent closely before throwing a strike. 9. Overlooking recovery. Inadequate rest and recovery can increase the risk of injury and impede progress. Also make sure to warm up properly. Exercises like jump rope and running could be part of your everyday regimen so you would last longer. Do you get tired easily? We got a video on the best exercise you could do to increase your endurance. These mistakes can be corrected with proper training, practice, and attention to detail under the guidance of a qualified coach. Good luck on your boxing. How to train like an old school boxer. When we picture a boxer, most of us will see the triumphant Muhammad Ali 
Standing over a defeated Rocky Marciano, or a fresh face, Mike Tyson becoming heavyweight champion of the world. Many wonder what their secret is. In this video, I will tell you the best training and exercise which you can do to become a good boxer. Training like an old school boxer involves a combination of physical conditioning, technical skill development, and mental toughness. Old school boxers relied on a variety of traditional training methods to prepare for their fights. Here's a guide on how to train like an old school boxer. 1. Jump rope. This is also known as skipping, is a simple yet highly effective exercise that offers numerous physical and mental benefits. Start your training sessions with jump rope exercises. This helps improve footwork, coordination, and cardiovascular endurance. Begin with 5 to 10 minutes of continuous jumping and gradually increase the duration as your fitness level improves. You will notice your cardiovascular fitness, coordination, and balance. Endurance and stamina and agility improve gradually. 2. Shadow Boxing Shadow boxing is a fundamental training exercise. It allows you to work on your technique, movement, and balance. Practice various punches, defensive maneuvers, and footwork while visualizing an opponent. 3. Heavy Bag Work Utilize a heavy bag to develop power, speed, and endurance in your punches. Focus on throwing combinations and maintaining proper form. Work on both offense and defense. 4. Speed Bag when struck correctly, the speed bag rebounds quickly and rhythmically, challenging the user to maintain a consistent and precise pace. The speed bag helps improve hand-eye coordination, rhythm, and speed. Start with basic rhythms and gradually increase the complexity of your combinations as you improve. 5. Focus Mitts Slash Pad Work Work with a coach or training partner who can hold focus mitts for you. This allows you to practice accuracy, timing, and defensive techniques. 6. Sparring Sparring is a controlled and supervised form of practice fighting that allows participants to apply their skills, techniques, and strategies in a realistic live-action setting. Sparring serves several purposes and offers several benefits. Spar regularly to put your skills to the test and gain practical experience. Start with light sparring and gradually increase intensity as you become more comfortable. 7. Strength Training Old school boxers often incorporated bodyweight exercises such as push-ups, sit-ups, and pull-ups. You can also include weightlifting and resistance training to build strength and power. 8. Road Work Running is an essential part of a boxer's training regimen. Go for long-distance runs to improve endurance. Include interval sprints to enhance speed and explosiveness. 9. Neck Exercises Neck exercises can be important for strengthening the neck muscles, improving neck mobility, and reducing the risk of neck-related discomfort or injuries. It's essential to perform these exercises with proper form and control to avoid straining the neck. If you are interested in the various neck exercises, let us know in the comment section. Strong neck muscles are crucial for absorbing punches. Perform neck bridges and resistance exercises to strengthen your neck. Remember to start with gentle movements and gradually increase intensity as you become more comfortable with these exercises. 10. Diet and Nutrition Diet and nutrition play a crucial role in maintaining overall health and well-being. A well-balanced and nutritious diet can provide the body with essential nutrients, support growth and development, boost energy levels, and reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Maintain a balanced diet to fuel your training and promote recovery. Consume lean proteins complex carbohydrates, fruits, vegetables, and stay hydrated. 11. Rest and Recovery Rest and recovery are essential components of a healthy and effective fitness routine. They allow your body to heal, adapt, and become stronger after exercise or periods of physical and mental stress. Allow your body to recover by getting adequate sleep and rest between training sessions. Listen to your body and address any injuries promptly. 12. Mental Toughness Develop mental resilience and discipline. Boxing is as much a mental sport as it is physical. Visualization, meditation, and mental conditioning exercises can help improve focus and concentration. 13. Study boxing history. Studying the history of boxing can provide valuable insights into the sport's evolution, key figures, and significant events. It helps you appreciate the traditions and techniques that have shaped modern boxing. Learn about the great old-school boxers and their techniques. Watch their fights to gain insights into the sport's history. Consider working with a qualified boxing coach who can provide personalized guidance and correct your form.
Remember that boxing training can be physically demanding so don't expect it to come easy. Regular training would be essential. I wish you luck during your training. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification icon to not miss out on other interesting videos. The first steps of realizing how you can punch faster and harder is to understand the science behind it. If you check out most powerful boxers of the last 20 years, Julian Jackson, Mike Tyson, Deontay Wilder, and Gennady Golovkin, you'll notice that they all got different punching and boxing methods. Plus, there isn't much in common with a knockout punch because each of them beat their opponents with a different punch at a different point in the battle. But what you will notice is their speed. The ability to dodge heavy punches and give heavier punches. In almost any sport, speed and its causing power has always been one of its most valued attribute and a major deciding factor to victory. And this is especially found in combat sports such as boxing, where you not only need mental speed in order to identify a short window of opportunity, but also you have to deliver the blow once the opportunity has been identified. In this video I will be discussing with you the science behind punching speed and how you can start being faster. Watch the video till the end, it will be interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you wouldn't miss out on other interesting videos. There are seven factors that determines how fast you can throw a punch. Muscle fiber composition, muscle strength, technique and mechanics, reaction time, neuromuscular coordination, flexibility and range of motion and muscle endurance. I will be explaining each of them, so listen carefully. In the end I will be telling you exercises you could do to start reaping them one by one. 1. Muscle fiber composition. There are three types of muscle fibers, slow oxidative, fast oxidative, and fast glycolytic. Most skeletal muscles in a human contains all these three types, although not the same proportions. This types of muscle fibers in your body can influence your punching speed and it all depends how much you want in your body. Fast twitch muscle fibers are responsible for quick, explosive movements and are essential for generating high-speed punches. Your speed will undoubtedly increase when you train these fast twitch muscle fibers. To train these muscle fibers, combine high-intensity exercises with explosive movements that are intended to activate and recruit them. Since resistance training demands your full power production over brief periods of time, it is useful in activating fast twitch fibers when large loads and few repetitions are used. Workouts like box jumps and jump squats are very useful for strengthening your fast twitch fibers. By also using the stretch shortening cycle, these exercises enable muscles to produce force quickly. 2. Muscle strength and endurance. These are two important parts when it comes to your body's ability to move, lift things, and do day-to-day -day activities. Muscular strength is the amount of force you can put out or the amount of weight you can lift. Muscular endurance is how many times you can move that weight without getting exhausted. You don't expect to be fast if you can't keep up fast dog and punches. The stronger your muscles are, the faster and more powerful your punches can be. Strength training exercises like weightlifting and plyometrics can help you grow your muscle strength very well and also add to having faster punches. 3. Technique and Mechanics This is where you gain benefits from sparring, heavy bag work, and the other different boxing training techniques. Proper punching technique plays a huge role in your speed. If you have efficient biomechanics, like the coordination of your body movements, weight transfer, rotation, and the snap of the punch, greatly, your speed and power grows. If you have had a fitness trainer before for boxing or even watch on television, you will realize that they always emphasize technique drills to refine your movement patterns so as to optimize speed. 4. Reaction Time This is the interval between the perception of a stimulus. I mean such as an opponent's movement and the initiation of a response, then throwing back a punch. If you practice well enough time through drills and exercises surely you can grow your punching speed, because quicker reactions allows fighters to train more on openings and delivering faster punches. So just make sure to get an opponent, or anyhow you do it. See how you can react to their punches and give them back. It is not just a one-day training. After several training you will get used to it, and your speed increases. 5. Neuromuscular Coordination This is how your brain and muscles work together to move your body smoothly. To punch well you need a precise coordination between the nervous system and the muscles involved. Meaning, you are to think and act very quickly. Without one the other will not be effective. So you start doing some training that also focuses on building your neuromuscular coordination, like shadow boxing, speed bag work, and focus mitt drills, this will help widely to get your speed and accuracy in place. Also through timing and motor control improvement. 6. Flexibility and range of motion. If you are flexible and able to move easily you are in the right path for generating a great speed and power in your punches. 
If your muscles are tight, and you can't move freely you wouldn't be able to deliver fast and fluid punches. So make sure to start your stretching and mobility exercises. There are several exercises you could do. We got a video to help you. Make sure to do this exercises so your joint with time functions properly, and you will also be flexible, facilitating faster punches. 7. Muscle Endurance We have mentioned endurance before as a reason for faster punches. Here again we call to list it, because it is an important factor if you want to punch well. Endurance is important for sustaining a high punching speed over and over and over for a long time, especially if you practice long fights or training sessions. Improving your muscular endurance through different cardiovascular conditioning and high repetition drills can delay you from getting fatigue easily, allowing you to maintain your initial speed and performance throughout fights. If you want to know more about boxing we got a lot of videos for you. At the end it will be shown. Choose one and enjoy. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the video. Boxing is a sport, an exercise, self-defense for stress relief, discipline your mental health, and many more. If you box, let us know why you box in the comment section. While training, boxing has many varieties such as shadow boxing, heavy bag work, sparring, and specific drills designed to enhance agility, endurance, and overall skill. It's not just about the punches you throw, but the different outcomes you get while throwing the punches. Don't go anyway, watch the video till the end, you will get to know the different amazing aspects that occurs to your body from just throwing a punch. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you find the video interesting. 1. Training Adaptations Learning how to box creates wonders for your confidence and self-esteem. There are many reasons why this occurs. For starters, training helps you feel stronger and healthier than ever before since exercising makes you feel good about yourself. Through gradual training, your body starts getting lean and fitter, increasing your self-esteem knowing that you feel as good as you look with that lean physique, appreciating and accepting how you look. As you progress in your boxing training, your body will adapt to the demands placed on it. This can lead to improved stamina, strength, and overall fitness. 2. Improved Cardiovascular Health One of the biggest benefits of boxing is that it improves your cardiovascular fitness, which in turn reduces your risks for cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and other chronic conditions. Try throwing punches non-stop for 60 seconds and see how much it raises your heart rate. Boxing requires you to move around a lot as you train, throwing punches, moving across the ring, all forcing your heart to work harder to supply these areas with oxygen and blood. The evidence comes from studies of cardio fitness generally but high-intensity interval training workouts in particular. The bouts of high-intensity training followed by a rest period is particularly good for your heart. Regular training can improve your heart health, lung capacity, and overall endurance. 3. Endorphin release Picture this you are angry. What comes to your mind first? You need someone to punch. This doesn't only involve when you are angry, but while hitting the punching bag, you gain a sense of relief. Endorphins are chemicals hormones your body releases when it feels pain or stress. With it you can relieve pain, reduce stress, and improve your sense of well-being. Exercise, including boxing, stimulates the release of endorphins, which can contribute to improved mood and reduced stress. The happy mood with boxing you can get it. The stress-relieving effects of boxing are immediate. This aligns with other research that suggests any exercise can be a big mood booster, and more specifically that aerobic exercise yields mood benefits. 4. You will gain significant muscular development. Many classes do intervals of strength work alternating the punching of bag and other technical moves. Even when boxing workouts do not include specific resistance moves, they boost full body strength. This is because you need your entire body to box. Throwing a punch correctly involves the whole body and most muscle groups. You need your core to stabilize yourself, your lower body and hips to pivot and give power to the punch, and of course, the upper body and deliver the blow. Boxing involves a full body workout, engaging muscles in the arms, shoulders, core, and legs. You can expect increased muscle strength and tone, especially in the upper body. 5. You will lose lots of weight. Boxing is a high-intensity workout that can contribute to weight loss and fat reduction, particularly when combined with a balanced diet. High-intensity boxing training has been shown to decrease body fat and improve overall body composition more than other activities like brisk walking. For example, a 150 pound that's about 68 kilograms person can burn 390 to 558 calories or more if conditioning exercises are included in a 60-minute session. The number of calories burned depends on the intensity level you use as well as factors like whether you're hitting a bag or sparring, but with time, you will certainly reach your goal. Even exergaming, which involves simulated boxing performed using a gaming system, effectively burns calories. This may help increase activity levels among people who may be less inclined to participate in a live training or exercise program. 
In addition, many people may be more comfortable with a gaming system in their hands compared with a pair of boxing gloves. 6. Your coordination and reflexes improves. That kind of improvement in coordination can translate to patients with disabilities, and the most prominent one I can think of is Parkinson's disease, a disease that is a neurological disorder that affects movement control. But for curing or preventing this disease, doctors recommend boxing. Why is this? Boxing requires strong visual motor coordination on your part since you are often performing multiple motions at one. For example, when punching a target, you're required to move your hips, twist your torso while throwing a jab all in one swift motion. Through constant drills and training sessions, your body starts getting sharper and more coordinated, with an increase in your reflexes and reaction time. The consistent drills from boxing gradually improve your hand-eye coordination. The more you train, the better your hand-eye coordination becomes. So if you are aiming on increasing your coordination and reflexes, you know what to start with now. 7. Develop Endurance A boxing workout is not easy. It is an intense experience. No matter what your skill or fitness level is, a good boxing session should put you through the ringer and be very challenging. Many people inherently enjoy this, but it's also good for your fitness because it builds stamina and improves endurance. If you attend boxing classes regularly, you'll find it easier to work out longer and more intensely. Boxing workouts are great additions to training plans if you participate in endurance events like distance running and triathlons. We got a video on the benefit of endurance. You are encouraged to watch it. 8. Improved Joint Health Boxing contains many dynamic movements during training or during a match such as footwork, dodging and controlled punches, engage various joints, promoting flexibility and range of motion. All these movements added together benefits your joints. As your whole joint becomes stronger, your flexibility and range of motion will increase along with your stability. Additionally, the strength training aspects of boxing help support the muscles around the joints, providing better stability. Though remember to take rests so you wouldn't stress your joints. This could be harmful. 9. Injury Risk Boxing does come with an increased risk of injuries such as sprains, strains, and bruising. Head injuries, particularly if proper protective measures are not taken, can be a concern. Learn before you fight. Consistent, correct training techniques and using appropriate safety equipment like headgear and mouth guards can help mitigate these risks. We hope you don't face any injury. Boxing training is a form of exercise that involves footwork, punching, and evasion movements to simulate the activities involved in the sport of boxing. It's often combined with other conditioning activities, such as jumping rope and calisthenics, which increases the intensity of each training session. Boxing can help improve your heart health, body composition, and strength, as well as lower your blood pressure and aid weight loss. Most of all, boxing is a fun way to get some exercise and release stress in a safe and healthy way. Have you ever been so mad you could punch something? Maybe you even did, taking your aggression on a pillow or couch cushion. Although this impromptu aggression might feel satisfying in the moment, there is an even better way to use physical action to keep your body at bay. Boxing versus kickboxing, which is better. Both kickboxing and boxing are combat sports, meaning it is a contact sport that usually involves a one-on-one -on -one combat. The aim of the sport is to simulate parts of real hand-to-hand -hand combat. In this video, we are relating to its potential benefit, which offers higher cardiovascular benefit, make you live longer, make you gain a faster pace and agility, and many more. Both of this exercise are popular and good, but which is best for you? Stay, watch the video till the end, and find out the best or even better, the best for you. Watch the video till the end, it will be very interesting. We will be talking about each of these exercise, their potential benefits, best techniques, and variation. Then in the end, you will tell me which is best in the comment section. Same with me giving my own personal opinion. Let's begin with the boxing exercise. 1. Boxing Its origins back thousands of years evolving from ancient forms of hand-to-hand. -hand. Now it is practiced as a sport and popular fitness activity. Boxing training typically includes a variety of exercises such as shadow boxing, where you train without a partner, your physical and mental performance will surely rise. Bag work, from the name you know it, you train using a heavy punching bag, your speed and power will increase. Sparring where you train with a partner, it serves as a practical application of techniques learned in training, allowing practitioners to refine their skills, timing and strategy in a controlled environment, and finally conditioning drills which is basically repetitive movements. All this different type of boxing movement help develop speed, power, endurance and agility. I would love to know which you enjoy doing the most. Let us now in the comments section. Is boxing really worth a try? Beyond its physical benefits, boxing instills discipline, mental toughness, and self-confidence in practitioners. Whether pursued competitively or as a form of exercise, boxing offers a challenging and rewarding pursuit that promotes both physical and mental well-being. 
and in relation to your body benefits, many are also gained. Boxing is a physically demanding sport that engages several muscle groups in your body and cardiovascular systems, you even feel your heart pumping pretty fast after going around. All the movements resulting in various physiological adaptations in the body. If you do boxing training a lot, you will see several changes in your body. But since both kickboxing and boxing are both cardiovascular exercises, what will happen to your cardiovascular system? Your heart rate increases, it strengthens the heart muscle and enhances lung capacity. Which when this is gained, you feel even more healthier. Also, boxing involves several repetitive movements from punching, footwork, and defensive maneuvers, which help build muscular strength, endurance, and power, particularly in the arms, shoulders, core, and legs. Over time, boxing training can lead to increased lean muscle mass, improved coordination, agility, and flexibility. And finally, boxing requires mental focus, discipline, and resilience. This contributes to enhanced cognitive function and stress management skills. We all need this. Now let's get into kickboxing. 2. Kickboxing Kickboxing is a combat sport that combines elements of traditional boxing with kicking techniques from martial arts such as karate and Muay Thai. It originated in the 1960s and gained popularity throughout the world in subsequent decades. In kickboxing, fighters use punches, kicks, knee strikes, and sometimes elbow strikes to score points or knock out their opponents. Not only that, kickboxing offers a comprehensive workout that targets various aspects of physical fitness while also providing mental benefits such as stress relief and improved confidence. If you're looking to get in shape, relieve stress, or learn self-defense skills, kickboxing can be a rewarding and enjoyable exercise option. It is one exercise that involves lots of rapid movement and can easily increase your heart rate to a similar pace as running. Engaging in kickboxing workouts enhances your cardiovascular health by elevating your heart rate and improving endurance through different combination of punching, kicking, and footwork drills. Compared to boxing, your heart beats faster. There are several movements involved in kickboxing compared to boxing, like punches, kicks, knee strikes, and defensive maneuvers also results in a comprehensive workout that targets multiple muscle groups at once, thereby leading to increased strength and muscle tone throughout your body. Whether you're looking to get in shape, relieve stress, or learn self-defense skills, kickboxing can be a rewarding and enjoyable exercise option. Thank you for watching. Now pause and let us know in the comment section, boxing or kickboxing, which do you find more beneficial? The main key difference between boxing and kickboxing is that in kickboxing, your legs are also involved, which means it's a full body workout and you also gain benefits in your legs. While in boxing, which primarily focuses on punches, which engage the muscles of the arms, shoulders, chest, and back. Constantly throwing punches against resistance, such as a heavy bag or pads, helps to strengthen these upper body muscles. Both are incredible exercise. Your fitness goal, what you enjoy most, muscles you target matters, and which you could sustain in longer. For my personal opinion, I will go for boxing. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you find the video interesting. We got other interesting contents in our channel. You could choose the left or right video and enjoy.